today on NBC Sports. Ready for a good time? Strike up the band, the home of great college basketball. Can the Wichita State Shockers shake up the LSU Tigers, or will the Bayou Bengals rule the court? Then on Sports World. Live from England, middleweights Dwight Davison and Tony Simpson. The number one ranked contender, the European champion, the big bout, a knockout. Then from Landover, Maryland, the World Pro Figure Skating Championship. From West Germany, Phil Mayer and his brother Steve, World Cup Slalom Skiing. All on NBC Sports, next. NBC Sports, in association with TBS, presents the best of college basketball. Today, from the Assembly Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it's the Shockers of Wichita State against the LSU Tigers. Today's game is brought to you by Light Beer, everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. By U.S. Army, the Army, a great place to be all you can be. By Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. And by Velaments, America's number one selling sugar-free mint. championship in the final eight when Wichita State was beaten by LSU in the Superdome. The Tigers going on to the final four. Hello everyone. Dick Amberg with Al McGuire. Welcome to the South. What a beautiful Sunday afternoon. But they are boiling here in Baton Rouge. Yesterday against Tennessee, the leading team in the SEC. Apparently a clock failure gave the Volunteers an extra two seconds. There was eight seconds left. LSU had taken a one-point lead. Eight seconds, eight seconds. The clock does not start until the Volunteers are almost to midcourt. Benefiting from the extra second or two, finally a pass, a shot, and at the buzzer, a tip-in, and Tennessee, a dramatic victory, and the fans here at LSU mighty angry. In fact, the chancellor had to be called on to quiet the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to settle this today. The emotion's too high. The teams are already off the court. We'll wait until the Southeastern Conference rules on this game. Chancellor Wharton is appealing to the SEC Conference that the final eight seconds be replayed before the Southeast Conference Championship. What do you think? I think the Chancellor's whistling in the dark. But what happens when the ball hits the man inside, that's when the clock starts. They lost about two to three seconds. But Dale Brown better get his head straight because he's taken on one of the best teams in the country in the Wichita Sharks. Wichita State, they've been on a hot streak. Of course, you know they're on probation. We'll deal with that later. They have a great front line in Carr and Livingston and the 7-1 center freshman Greg Dryling. We'll have the introduction of the starting lineups in just a moment. Is our copier smarter than theirs? Compare the Savin 883 on my left with the Xerox 4000 on my right. You'll find that only one has a microprocessor and an electronic brain that can transform an unclear original into a clear copy. Only one has a fully automatic document feed and only one has an energy-saving automatic shutoff. On all these points, one copier outsmarts the other. The Savin. Volkswagen introduces the amazing new Quantum, German technology that is bound to be copied. Other makers will scrutinize Quantum's patented thinking axle, hoping to unlock the secret to its agility. They'll analyze Quantum's aerodynamics, seeking a clue to its economy. They'll even burrow into Quantum's comfortable interior. Five years from now, how will you tell the original from a copy? Look right here. Food, clothes, just about everything seems to cost more today. One reason young families think they can't afford life insurance. Allstate update, lower life insurance rates. Now, all states cut prices up to 20% on a lot of their life insurance. Like this $100,000 level term policy that now only costs a 28-year-old father about $19 a month. Before you buy, come in and compare. For life, home, or auto, you're in good hands with Allstate. 
This is where you come to be really refreshed. For a taste so cool, so delicious, it could only be Velaments. For a taste so fresh, it takes your breath away. Great taste that only happens here. Velaments. Great taste that's always cool and clear. Cool refreshment. That's the Velaments taste. Great taste that only happens here. Velaments. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the starting lineup for today's game for the visiting Wichita State Shockers. At forward, 6'9", Jr. from Wichita, Kansas, number 35, Antoine Carr. At forward, a 6'7", Sr. from Valley Falls, Kansas, number 32, Jay Jackson. At center, a 6'8", Jr. from San Diego, California, number 54, Cliff Levingston. At guard, 6'3", senior from Williamsboro, New Jersey, number 21, Tony Martin. And at guard, 6'4", freshman from Wichita, Kansas, number 22, Aubrey Sherrod. The coach of the Shockers, Gene Smithman. Gene Smithson has put back-to-back 20-game -back seasons together, the first time in Wichita State history a coach has done that. Number 20, John Tudor. At center, 6'7", sophomore from St. Martinville, Louisiana. Number 24, Leonard Mitchell. At guard, 6'2", sophomore from Derrida, Louisiana. Number 12, Johnny Jones. And at guard, 6'2", freshman from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Number 10. Voted by several sources as the coach of the year in college basketball last season, including here on NBC. It's Browns, Tigers, matched against Smithson Shockers from Wichita. We'll have the tip-off and the start of this intersectional game from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in just a moment. You don't have to put up with hotel excuses like the maid, the TV man, or the plumber is gone for the day. Because Holiday Inn gives you this no excuses guarantee. Everything in your room will be right, or we'll make it right. No excuses. Or that night, you stay free. You don't get this guarantee from any other hotel chain. Not one. So, let us take care of you. Holiday Inn gives you a guarantee. Not excuses. <laughs> My beer from Miller tastes just great, and that's no fish story. But the best thing is, it's less filling. Light's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and that's important when you're trying to land that big one. Like yesterday, I hooked this bass, fought him for over six hours. All of a sudden, he jumps clean over the boat. Broke my rod, and I had to tie the... No, wait a minute, fellas. I had to tie the... Light beer from down. Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Left me out there with nothing but a paddle. A big front line for Wichita State. Levingston 6'8", Carr 6'9", when Dryling comes in off the bench 7'1", Jackson the defensive forward, Martin and the freshman Sherrod in the backcourt. For LSU, freshman Taylor, some say he may be the SEC freshman of the year, along with a speedy Jones, Tudor, and Carter. Carter the leading scorer for the Tigers, and Leonard Mitchell, fine sophomore at center. It's a small LSU team. The Shockers have much better shooting percentages coming in. LSU in yellow. Utah State does not gain the tap. Howard High C. Carter off the mark. Rebound from the corner. Jones dances it in. Johnny Jones, who only scores an average of three and a half points a game, and back to the other end is Antoine Carr to tie it at two. Excellent lead pass by Mont in that time. This is the freshman Taylor from Baton Rouge. This is an all Louisiana starting five for Dale Brown's Tigers. Tudor, Taylor, and now Jones the playmaker. Wichita's trying to create play with an aggressive man-to-man. -man. I believe that early in the season I picked Wichita's number five team in the country, number 15 in the country. 
No question, a probation took something out of them. Mitchell can't hit. Levingston, the leading rebounder on the season the last three years for which State, called in the rebound. Jackson, Martin, the playmaker. Well, for Banker, not there. Tudor rebounds for LSU. Game tied at two, a minute gone. Tudor was an original Tiger type. Those are those little youngsters that have put on such great shows, almost a Globetrotter type style. Taylor, not there. Rebound Jackson for Wichita State. Temple favors Wichita State. They want to go up and down, they get a deep bench. Taylor, a near steal as they double team. Wide open is Martin. And from 16, he can't hit. Levingston. He scores. Cliff Levingston, a junior from San Diego, California, gives Wichita a 4-2 lead. Whistle away from the ball, holding against Levingston of Wichita State, and that brings 40-year-old Gene Smithson off the bench. Check that, it was Antoine Carr, not Livingston. Carr, 35, got the ticket for the foul, first of the game. Playing it underneath is Howard Carter, the leading scorer for LSU. Shock is going to a 2-3 zone because they're taking the ball out underneath their own basket. Carter from the corner. Boy, LSU comes out cold. Rebound, Martin. That distance thick, anyone can hold. <laughs> Jay Jackson. This is Aubrey Sherrod, the fine freshman. Levinson, way short, gets it back. Jay Jackson, not there. Tipped in by Tony Martin, who slipped inside. At 6-3, gives Wichita a 6-2 lead. We play two and a half minutes. With this style of play, LSU might be thrown out at home. Just can't make it too much of a personnel type of game. Mitchell draws Carr's second foul. On car. Let's go back to Martin's tip in for the Shockers at the other end. The shot comes off here. Watch Martin move around inside here. He's up in between two giants. He's very quick off his feet. The way he plays usually is the way the game goes. A member of the Southeast Conference All Freshman Team last year, Leonard Mitchell, at the line. He's from St. Martinville High School. Three times an All Stater here in Louisiana. Mitchell. Hitting only 63% from the line. Here comes number 30, Greg Dryling, into the game for the first time for Wichita State. Pat Ewing, you saw yesterday on NBC at Georgetown. Dryling, Wichita State, and Stuart Gray at UCLA were the three giants out of high school last year that were so highly publicized. And you've had a chance here during the course of the year to compare them. Ray Ewing certainly has developed magnificently, as we saw yesterday. Tudor got the rebound and gets the two. It's six to four. John Tudor's first move. At the present time, Patrick Ewing is a ton the best. But these two guys have come along. They don't have the quickness of Patrick Ewing. Levingston off to Sherrod. Levingston working the baseline. Tough shot. Not there. Mitchell rebounds. And who's got it? LSU. That was a little pinball. Hot potato. Taylor. Side. Mitchell, not there. Dryling got a piece of it. Dryling has huge hands. He's the featured guest at halftime. He can actually hold a ball with a thumb and one finger. Any finger. I remember when I really thought about I could do it with the whole hand. In and out. Up break for Martin. Rebound to Mitchell. Mitchell playing on a sore ankle. He's not 100%. But they have to have him because he's their key to the rebounding. Tudor looking inside, it's not there. Carter has it stolen. Nice play by Jackson. Ahead to Sherrod. No look pass. Livingston misses, but Paolo misses again. And Carter gets it out of bounds to Wichita State. For the first, now here, let's take a shot. I think Carter's going a little bit solo. As they cut down court here, watch Livingston kick it over. I really think at the end of this play, I thought that Martin was pushing Carter out of bounds. Let's watch if it happens. I watch Martin getting back at Carter here and kind of push him out. See right there? 
Timeout, four minutes gone. The visiting Shockers lead by a basket. There's just one way. One of a kind. To describe our specialty. It's genuine Colonel Sanders. All you gotta say is original recipe. Mm, yeah. America's favorite bite after bite. Number one. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do it right for you. How would you describe the perfect chicken? Just one way. Original recipe. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. The following performance is brought to you by the Champions Park Plug Company. We are starting the 1982 performance season with over 197 Formula One victories, domination of international motorcycle championships, worldwide use by major professional racing teams. And we can help you get sure starts, terrific mileage, and performance. Next tune up, insist on champions. The champion wins the world over. American Airlines, doing what we do best means low fares and high standards. That's why we're giving you low fares on every flight. We're giving our best. We're giving you full service no matter what you pay. We're giving our best. Just what you'd expect from America. We're giving our best. We're American Airlines, doing what we do best. Be as Frank the Animal Fletcher slugs it out with Tony Braxton for the USBA middleweight title. Then the All-Stars and the Pro Stars go down to the wire in a team skate off of the World Championship plus Women's World Cup surfing next Sunday on NBC Sports World. At LSU, the Tigers trailing visiting Wichita State 6-4. And the Shockers had the ball out of bounds. Stephon Johnson, a freshman for LSU, number 33 in the game. They call him Baby Magic. Where's Magic Johnson's number? Greg Greiling inside has his first bucket. And leads by four. 15-55 left first half. Dickenberg, Al McGuire, pleased to join us. Big day on NBC Sports World to follow. Inside, Derek Taylor unable to get it away. And it's out of bounds. Livingston made a great play that time. He was hung out of bounds and he slapped the ball back in. What, what, what you see Livingston at this time now? He was out of bounds after the ball and he slapped it back in and he gets caught under the fellow's body. Back to live action. A foul. Foul by number 10. And Derek Taylor. Taylor. Foul Reminder that we'll be selecting our Honeywell Most Viable Player later in the game. A $1,000 scholarship to both Wichita State and LSU. Shockers from the Missouri Valley. They were the champions last year. Nice move by Aubrey Sherman, the freshman from Wichita. Ten to four, the Shockers lead. Everyone has scored on the floor now for Wichita State by baskets. Stefan Johnson gets two, his first two for LSU. Gerard, a left-hander. Trying to punch the ball inside. There it is. Watch Greg Dryling go up with it. Misses, but Martin follows. And he was fouled. And, oh, Jones got away with one there. Watch Sherrod here drive towards the middle. He's a very quick first step. Watch him. He'll go into the paint. Clear up. Off the air. Bang. Dryling. Back to live action. He has four quick points. And the Shockers lead 12 to 6 with five minutes gone. Pace is too fast for LSU. Last touch by Wichita State. I'm surprised. I thought that Dale Brown would come out with a slower game, try to get to a half court game. Uh, I don't know if they might be a little bit whacked out over that game yesterday. He hasn't got his head straight yet. Really. Oh, I think there's no question. The entire campus has gone crazy over what happened yesterday. That was all the student body could chant was 8-8-8, eight, 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 referring to the long eight seconds that allowed Tennessee to win yesterday. And they have all kinds of applications open for a new timekeeper. That can count to eight. <laughs> Dual possession, and on the alternate possession rule, it goes to Wichita State, 12-6. to six. What happened that time, Wichita gave him a new face, gave him a 2-3 zone, and it caught the Tigers off balance. 
six, Wichita State lead. Jackson outside. Sherrod. You can fill it up from there, Dick. You cannot let that guy shoot. 14 to six as Sherrod has four. There's some rumors with a three-year probation on Wichita State that some of the freshmen might elect to matriculate elsewhere. And of course, also the obvious rumors that both Carr and Livingston, who are juniors, might go hardship and turn to the NBA. Johnson, Stephon Johnson hits his first two shots. 14-8, long pass, batted away. Johnson makes the play. Here comes Tudor. Tudor can't hit, follows his shot. Riling rebound. Power of towel. Both these teams play. The top-rated Cavaliers came from behind second half to win. Carolina winning. Missouri upset. The number four Tigers, DePaul, number three, did not play. Oregon State, a tough one against George Raveling's uh, Washington State Club. And we'll have the rest of the scores for you. And, of course, we'll have our basketball writers top 10, top 20 for you later in this telecast. There's a timeout. 13-39 remaining in the first half here in Baton Rouge, where Wichita State leads LSU by six. When you shoot a lot of pool and bars, you want to stay fast and loose, and you don't want to get filled up. That's why I drink light beer from Miller. It's got a third less calories than their regular beer, and it's less filling. Plus, the taste is great. And even though a lot of people don't think pool is strenuous, let me tell you something. You can work up a real good thirst, even when you're just showing off. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. At Ford Motor Company, quality is job one. Putting a door on is very important. It's as important as getting the foundation of a house straight. If you don't start off right, you can't finish right. Any door sounds good, you close it that hard. You close them like that without having to slam it, and you know you got a good door. NBC Sports' strongest college basketball season ever. It's the flashy plays, the wild fans in the stands, the changing tides of emotion, and the miracle shots. Catch the school spirit on the home of great college basketball, NBC Sports. Back at Baton Rouge, other games involving top teams yesterday and last night. It was a rough on the top teams in the Big Ten. Iowa lost. Minnesota lost, and Indiana with a chance to really move back into the thick of the Big Ten Conference race, defeated at Purdue. We'll have more scores for you. Here it's 14-8, Wichita State leading LSU. The Tigers with the ball. Carter to Johnson. See Purdue, a winner against the Hoosiers, Tennessee, and the dramatic, controversial win here at LSU. Wake Forest, a winner. Howard Carter, his first basket, and he gets hot. LSU will be in the game. Well, he has to get hot for LSU to be in the game. Who's their offense? Who's their instant offense? 13 minutes remaining, 14 to 10, Wichita State. Aubrey Sherrod, he's three for three, 16 to 10, Shockers lead. For Sherrod, that is not rare. He's one of the best freshmen in the country, one of the most sought-after high school seniors in the country. One of the rumors circulating is that Sherrod might, might we say, transfer to Kansas State, and the other rumor is Dryling going to Kansas, where his girlfriend attends for A holding foul against Martin of Wichita State. So the people have the probation right, Dick. Here's what it is. The Wichita cannot um, go to the postseason conference NCAA tournament for the next two years. They now can only give out 14 scholarships rather than 15, and they cannot play the conference tournament inside the uh, Missouri Valley. Johnny Jones hits from outside. He rarely shoots. It's 16 to 12, Wichita State. The Shockers are on a three-year probation, but they can't play in the tournament two years. Dryling connects, and it's 18 to 12, Wichita State, as the freshman Dryling with six points. His high this year, 18. Well, he's really just starting to play. He was averaging 18 minutes a game, but now he's getting about 28 minutes a game in. Stephon Johnson, he hits again, and it's 18-14. 
Boy, the two freshmen, Sherrod for Wichita State and Stephon Johnson for LSU putting on a shooting show. Jay Jackson, it's his turn, and he has his first bucket, 20 to 14. The way they're going up and down, we might get a dollar here today. 100 point game. Service. This is not a wooden floor. That's why it looks a bit different than you normally accustomed to see. Forcing the shot, and Livingston gets the rebound. He has five already. Great passing by Wichita State, and Martin gets the basket. 22-14. Boy, that ball didn't touch the floor all the way down. Wichita State, Livingston throws it away. Let's go back to that fast break basket. That ball didn't touch the yeah. court. The most beautiful thing about this is Sherrod underneath did not go for the shot. He kicked the ball back out to Martin for an automatic two. Unselfish. They got a family attitude on Wichita State. Cliff Livingston, meanwhile, the leading rebounder for Wichita State, averaging 10 a game and moving up in the all-time Wichita ranks in rebounding, has six already in Howard Carter coming to the sidelines as if uh, he was hit in the stomach or groin. 11.07 remaining in the first half here at LSU. The Shockers have an eight-point lead over the hometown Bengals. It's 22-14. American Express presents... I, oh, I've discovered a cure for the common cold. The American Express card. Just take it to United Airlines and ask them to put you on their next flight to Hawaii. United says Hawaii's their little corner of the world. May I help you, sir? Oh, yes, you can. I'd like to go to... I'd like to go to... I'd like to go to... Hawaii! The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. When I'm not making music with the Charlie Daniels Band, you'll find me here at home in Tennessee. And where you find me, you'll find my skull. I just take a little pinch and put it between my cheek and gum, and it sure feels good. In fact, I think going smokeless is the only way to go. And my place here? <laughs> That's something I just can't get too much of. Enjoy tobacco without lighting up. Try Skull, Copenhagen, or Happy Days. A pinch is all it takes. LSU shooting just 37% off the opening buzzer. The Tigers have the ball trailing by eight. Number three in the game for the first time for Wichita State, James Gibbs. Gibbs hawking Taylor. Tudor inside. Ooh, Mitchell almost threw it away. Tudor saves. Good play. Good pass underneath to Taylor. Beautiful pass as Johnson threaded it through several Wichita State arms. 22-16 the score. Both teams still playing man-to-man. -man. We're getting ourselves a playground game up and down, 94 feet. Inside the Livingston. That's where he likes it. Within three feet of the eye, and it's automatic. Four points for him. Approaching the midpoint of the first half. And Wichita State with an eight-point lead. Traveling on. No basket. Taylor shakes his man. He's underneath the basket all together by himself. Easy back door. Someone turned their head on D. Wichita State with the ball and an eight-point lead. Gibbs with it. He's from Mount Vernon, New York. Well, that's produced some many fine players. Earl Tatum, Gus and Ray Williams, Rodney and Scooter McRae. BT, Bernard Toon. That was, uh, you had a little pipeline into Mount Vernon. <laughs> yeah, I had. Look for Sherrod to put it up. Now it's Gibbs. Nice at that. Usually Gibbs does not shoot. Foul on Greg Dryling for pushing off on the rebound. It's a good shot here of the rebounding coming up. Watch, watch how they all get off their feet. Yeah, he did push, obviously. Cleared out with his inside arm. So trailing by eight points, LSU with the ball. Johnson off to Taylor, two freshmen. And Taylor hits. He's one of the men we're considering for our NBC All-Freshman team. He's had an outstanding year, Taylor. 
There's a steal by Jones. He can fly. Oh, oh. close the layup and oh. is fouled. So mad at himself over doing that. He dropped his head just before he put it up. He heard steps around him. Watch as he gets the breakaway. Next to the steal, off Gibbs' foot. Now watch him drop his head just before he puts it out of his hand. Watch. See him drop his head there? That's why he missed the shot. So at the line is Johnny Bullet Jones. As the Tigers say, they, they had their pistol in Pete Maravich, their old time score. And this is their bullet. Not a good free throw shooter. He's only 6 for 16, but he hits that one dead center. Well, it's this type of game. He likes a transition game. He's also kind of like a flashy passer. He only shoots when he when he almost has to. And yet he's outscored his average already with five points. Makes one out of two, and it's 24-19. What you thought, Nate, please? Harvey flying down, and a foul on Mitchell for blocking. Good call. Don't get upset, Tiger fans. That was a good call. Earth Brown was right on top of it. Here, call it yourself. Watch the man move in. He moved over and it's amazing. Again, the great athletic talent. Look at the collision here. This is a football type collision. People, Number 21, big men running into each other and then hitting the court. And yet, so fortunately, most often they get back to their feet. And no protective equipment. Great athletes, basketball players. Tony Martin. Senior from Willingboro, New Jersey, off the mark. He went to Casper, Wyoming Junior College. Averaged 23 points a game and then on to Wichita State. Just did a very smart thing then. He missed his first shot, so he got off the foul line, reset, and canned the second one. Nine and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Taylor. By Johnson. And out of bounds to LSU. It looks to me that Dryling, the seven foot one center, he still has too many high school. He, he's, he's not aggressive enough underneath that. I think he's afraid of fouling out. He has the ability to play and will be an outstanding center with maturity. LSU is Jones. He banks it home. So Johnny Jones, averaging only three and a half a game, has doubled that in the first half. He has seven. Nine minutes left. First half. Wichita State's lead is down to four. And it's the Shockers with it out of bounds. And the LSU fans cheer their defense. It's interesting, that note, LSU in the last three years has been eliminated in the tournament by the eventual NCAA champion. The Spartans three years ago, then Louisville, and last year they were beaten by Indiana in the final four. Foul is, no, it's going to call it a jump ball. It'll go to LSU. It's their possession. Surprisingly, Dale Brown might be doing his best coaching job ever this year because he doesn't have any seniors. He lost four great ones last year. Watch these two guys go up. It could have been called on the back with a good whistle. They call it a jump ball, alternate possession, goes to LSU. That's right, LSU lost four outstanding players for their top six. Rudy Macklin, Ethan Martin, Greg Cook, and Willie Sims graduated last year, and he's put together another outstanding team. In fact, that's why they're so upset about the loss yesterday to Tennessee, a victory over Tennessee, and they were right back in the SEC championship. They have no seniors on their club. Taylor, the freshman. Rebound Sherrod inside for Wichita State. Don't forget, Antoine Carr picked up two early fouls. That's why he's sitting out. I don't know if they'll go back to him the first half. Sherrod dribbled it off his foot, had his problems, and LSU suddenly with a basket would be down by only two. Both coaches, coaches are up and working. It's Mardi Gras time here in Louisiana. New Orleans, just an hour's drive to the east. And a lot of the students, so this is a vacation holiday. Oh, oh, the pass a little too tall, and Wichita State benefits. 25-21, the Shockers from the Missouri Valley. Inside, Dryling. Johnson on him. Hook. And a foul on Taylor reaching in. And Taylor reached into the mountain that time. He's a little bit hesitant, Dryland, before he no, makes it move. Watch how he's Taylor, hesitant here. Now he makes it move, watch the fella come in automatically. Hits him on the arm. Dryling has to be a little bit more positive on his moves, a little bit quicker. They ruled that Dryling was ready to shoot, so he's Number at the line 30. for two. Dryling from Wichita. 
His high school team won the Class 5A championship twice. 26-21. The big 7-1 center has seven points, and he'll be featured in halftime today. He's right at his average, seven and a half a game. Johnson rebounds for LSU. Oh, a lot of good young players on the court in this game. Taylor with the ball, a freshman. Sherrod, a freshman. Johnson, a freshman for LSU. And Martin might have gotten a finger in the eye as he came down with the rebound, and that's a timeout called by the official, Reggie Copeland, and I told this isn't serious. Looked more like an elbow, Dick. He, he, after the ball came down, it wasn't intentional. He got a nice rebound. He's very quick off his feet. As I said earlier in the show, that the way he goes, so goes Wichita State. He's the king. He, if he's perking, they're good. Here it is now. The first guy go up and rebound, and there he goes up. Now watch when he comes down. He catches an elbow. Right there. Well, it's really a risk. And he's all right. So Wichita State with a 26-21 lead. Seven and a half minutes left for the Both water packs out there. Jones and Mark. The clock's not moving, I don't think that's this thing about. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there they is a mount up. They have browns up on the clock. Levingston to Jackson. Way off the mark. Beautiful play by Johnson. And a foul against Wichita State. Greg Greiling is second. Now, Dale Brown is at the scores table, and apparently there is some problems with the clock. It did not start immediately, then finally got going, and of course, that's what happened yesterday. It was only a second or two, but that's all Don DeVoe's Tennessee Volunteers needed to pull off a dramatic win, and they're still very angry here at LSU. Well, you can understand. I mean, that's a... Oh, but it was their scorekeeper and their clock. You could be talking about an NCAA bid. That's right. Harder. 26-23 LSU. That's the closest they've been since the early minutes. Dale Brown got to get that out of his head. If he wants to think about it, think about it later this afternoon. No problems here trying to handle Wichita. Remember Antoine Carr, two early fouls on the bench. Dryling. Stolen by Jones. Wow, look at Dryling move with he Jones. He stayed right with Jones. Tip <laughs> by Johnson. Out of comes the Dryling. He's got hey. some agility and speed. Tony Martin hits, and it's 28-23, Martin with seven. Martin makes some nice moves with the ball going at you. Disco moves here and there. Derek Taylor, the freshman, he's been compared to Ethan Martin, the fine playmaking guard that graduated last year. Blocked by Dryling. It comes out to Carter, a break for the Tigers. Side, Stephon Johnson, not there. Rebound, Mitchell. 28-25, Mitchell has his first basket. Six minutes left, halftime. Don't do that, don't do that. Inside, Livingston knocked away by Carter as he fronted his man. Let's go back to Mitchell's tip in. Yeah, he goes up here a little bit late and he gets up there. Right there, it's kind of a, a gift. We call that garbage time. Number 23, McDaniel, replacing Bradley. As Al pointed out, this LSU Tiger team, considered to finish well in the middle of the pack in the SEC, has really been a challenger all year to the credit of Dale Brown. It's very young, no seniors. Almost a steal by Jones, but Livingston gets it back. And the call is a foul reaching in. Number 12, Johnny Jones. Number 12, Dale Brown from Minot State. Graduated in 57, and his counterpart, Gene Smithson, from North Central Illinois. Here are two coaches from small colleges doing an outstanding job at the big university level. Xavier McDaniel from Columbia, South Carolina, and for Wichita State. Sherrod, not there. This is McDaniel. No, that's Martin inside. The hook way off the mark by McDaniel. Out of bounds to LSU. Tyrone Corbin. 
even the fine freshman forward at DePaul and Xavier McDaniel were high school Number teammates. John Tudor replacing Joe with the line of And at uh, AC Flora High School in Columbia. Boy, it's a great sports world show. Stay with it. It's live boxing, two of the top middleweights in the world. Matched up from Birmingham, England, plus downhill skiing and some outstanding figure skating. That's all next time in BC Sports World. Mitchell hits, and it's 28-27, Wichita State. Coming on strong to get the ball into the right hand. And the crowd now in the game. Xavier McDaniel, he quiets them with his first basket, 30-27. Five minutes left in the half. Howard Carter. 30 to 29 as Carter has six. Powerful built guy. He just uh, seems to fill it up. He goes in streaks. chance to take the lead. Actually, they led 2-0. Stephon Johnson. <laughs> Stephon Johnson off the bench with eight points for LSU. The Tigers lead 31-30. Good friends, tonight is kind of pretty go. The view will think it's lost. Must he say always gets lost. Sometime. Hey, anybody miss me? <laughs> so yeah. out there. Yeah. You guys have lunch and you you want the taste of a truly great American beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. And here's to our travel agent. I feel look. Huh? Oh, that. Doris, I need the blimp behind me because... Three the crowd, Phil. Uh, Phil may not know that Goodyear radials and their components have hundreds of quality checks behind them, but he sure likes the mileage he gets. Doris will go a long way with the blimp behind us. Get the blimp behind you. Come up to Goodyear. I should have married Stanley. He just has a dog. NBC Sports' strongest college basketball season ever. It's the flashy plays, the wild fans in the stands, the changing tides of emotion, and the miracle shots. Catch the school spirit on the home of great college basketball, NBC Sports. Dick Enberg, Al McGuire at LSU, where the Tigers have just taken the lead. 31-30 was here in 76. The U lost to the eventual champion, Indiana Hoosiers. Yeah, they went on to Philadelphia to win it. I thought that team, that Indiana team, was the third best team in basketball history. The first team I thought was Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's senior year, and Bill Russell at San Francisco. In the mid-50s. Tony Martin to Sherrod. Antoine Carr is still on the bench for Wichita State. The Shockers led by eight several times in this first half, but now it's LSU up by one. Once they got the lead, they went to a 2-3 zone. Nice move by Coach Brown. Four minutes remaining in the first half. And Sherrod, not there. Mitchell, what a rebound. He's sky Now he's playing with a bad ankle. He's only 6'7", but he gets up for the seven-footers. Wichita State is staying with them man to man. Derek Taylor. Boy, the Tigers are red hot. Taylor has a unique fadeaway jump shot. It's hard to know how he gets his balance on it. Now that zone gets stronger because they got a three-point lead. Again, Sherrod's going to have to put it up. In the dry lane. Rod come around to the right side. Kick it over to Martin. Let it go. No, nope, he didn't let it go. Inside to Livingston. There. Out it comes to Wichita State, and it goes out of bounds off Derek Taylor. Let's go back to that Mitchell rebound. This is what we call Skywalker. Watch him go up. 
That's mine, he says. He just embraced the rebound. 33-30, LSU leading Wichita State with less than three minutes remaining in the first half. Short missed everything. McDaniel, and it's out of bounds to LSU. The Tigers have scored six unanswered points. And in fact, in this run, have outscored Wichita State 10-2. Pressure still up court, trying to create turnovers. Martin's pushing Taylor. This guy's tough right here. Howard Carter. I see. Tough, tough, tough. 35-30. Eight points for Carter. Their leading score, 17 on the season. Come back over here to Sherrod. They got to uh, take Xavier out of there because he's not that good of an outside shooter. Another turnover in LSU with a five-point lead. Carter. Nice hustle by Levingston to pick him up. John Tudor. Mitchell. And now Taylor. Less than two minutes left. Wichita State 12 to 2 in this run. Johnson. Check it. Leonard Mitchell. Leonard Mitchell makes it 37 30. They, they, they got to call a timeout to get blown out of here. Here's the last pass over here. The freshman turns his head and got caught turning around. Well, it may be Mardi Gras down on Canal Street, but there's a little celebrating going on right now in Baton Rouge. Live from England, middleweights Dwight Davison and Tony Simpson. The number one ranked contender, the European champion, the big bout, a knockout. Then from Landover, Maryland, the World Pro Figure Skating Championship. From West Germany, Phil Mayer and his brother Steve, World Cup slalom skiing all on NBC Sports World next. A reminder at halftime, Al McGuire will be talking to Greg Freiling, asking him about the situation at Wichita State as a freshman, knowing there were problems with the probation and all, why he still elected to go to that school. And he, uh, Mr. Dryling, young Dryling, also puts on quite an exhibition showing the size of his hands. I believe, Dick, that every senior high school ball player in the country should know if the school he's considering is on probation or being investigated. Sometimes an investigation by the NCAA takes two or three years. And I think a 17 or 18 year old kid should know if that school's being investigated. There's Derek Taylor with another turnover. 37-30, LSU just playing Wichita State right off its feet in this run. They're doing everything right, Carter! Oh, my! I didn't, I didn't realize he could hit from so far downtown. That's 12 unanswered points for LSU. And Mitchell rebounds. Tudor to Carter, two on one. Carter! And it'll be on Carter for charging. Should have ditched that ball off, I thought, to the left. Johnson was free on the left side. Watch this. He gets hung in the air. Look to the left side of the court. See him free underneath there? Should have hit him earlier. Coach, I don't understand why Gene Smithson has left Antoine Carr on the bench while LSU has not only gotten momentum, but now threatening to blow them out. What happens, some MOs of coaches, is to save their ball play after two fouls the first half, after three fouls the second half. When the ball player has four fouls, a lot of coaches don't play anyway. So that might be Smithson's uh, way of operating. Well, they certainly miss Carr, the leading scorer. Inside a dryling, and there's a foul. They moved in a zone break in number 33 out there. It's a Mike, good outside shot. Mike Jones. Smithson saw Jones hit a long 30-footer against Kansas in the tournament last year. Perhaps the most important shot in many, many years for Wichita State that uh, sent Wichita State on in the tournament. They need one of these fouls real bad. They've been on a snide now for how many minutes? Well, it was 30 to 27 with five minutes left. And they're finally breaking a 12-point run by LSU. Dryling trickles one in at the 46-second mark. 39-32 LSU. Little trap here. 
caught in a trap, two on one. They got him pinned a little bit now. Oh, he's too quick. Taylor's too quick. Great pass to Mitchell. And he scores, and he's fouled by Livingston. Well, I'll tell you, this Taylor is a player. He's only a freshman. He can play the ball game. And the pass, excellent pass. Watch Greg Dryland catch him on the way down. He gives him a head and shoulder fake. He goes up now. He catches him on the way down for the foul. Actually, they called it on Livingston for the foul. Oh, I thought they called it on, on Greg. Livingston's foul is his first. <laughs> Mitchell, a three-point play, and it's a ten-point lead for LSU. They were down by eight at the ten-minute mark, and now they're up by ten. It means one thing that Wichita State needs. Antoine Park. Mike Jones with the ball. His brother is the assistant coach. Well, Jim gonna, Jones. Gonna play, for, gonna play for the last shot. Probably take with about six seconds or seven. Six is the best time. Two more seconds. Okay, now let it go. Way off the mark. Not even close. And Mitchell. That's about the only one they missed. The last ten minutes. Tremendous comeback to take a 10-point lead at the intermission. Every time the Connecticut State Police pull someone over, a Honeywell computer goes to work. A Honeywell computer displays police reports on a car and warns if the driver is considered dangerous. That's our man. Roger. License and registration, please. Will you follow me, please, Mr. Johnson? Your wife just had a baby girl. Honeywell, you should see what we do with computers. I like it. Over 8 million men who have tried the Gillette Atra Razor like it. I like it. The Atra Razor pivots to continually hug every curve and contour for a better shave than any razor that doesn't pivot. I like it. And right now, to get you to try Atra, if you buy five blades, Gillette will give you this Atra razor free. Free? I really like that. The Yamaha Virago gives you a V-twin engine, monoshock suspension, shaft drive and the satisfaction of knowing that while the others are off following the crowd you're not ah good choice the beer with a taste for food natural light from anheuser-busch not too filling but oh, so satisfying. When you're ready, really ready to eat. What's more natural than natural light? A world premiere movie, The Capture of Grizzly Adams. He'll risk anything to save his daughter, even if it means being framed for murder. Dan Haggerty stars Sunday. <laughs> Time and LSU, the Tigers clawing from eight points down to go 10 up at the intermission at 42-32. It's kind of a funny first 20 minutes. It's a strange game because Wichita State's playing their style, but they're losing by 10 points to the Tigers. Antoine Carr is very, very important to them. The other thing, Dick, is that High C Carter and Mitchell, hey, they're keepers. They can play basketball. LSU showing why they've been in contention in the SEC all season long and recovering from yesterday's disappointing loss. We'll be back after these words from your local station. Sunday, everyone has them, but only a few get the chance to fulfill their rock and roll dreams. Then, phony chips officers and killer bees add up to armored car robbery on John and Poncha's toughest case ever. Then, Dan Haggerty fights to get his daughter back in the capture of Grizzly Adams, a world premiere movie Sunday on NBC.
Wichita State in the final eight last year. They won their first eight games this year, were ranked second, and then the news came. NCAA probation. They faltered at mid-year. They're now 20 and 6, but there are other thoughts on their minds. Last season, the Wichita State Shockers were one of the nation's top teams. This year, led by forwards number 35, Antoine Carr, number 54, Cliff Levingston, the Shockers were improved immeasurably with the addition of 7-foot, 1-inch Greg Dryling, number 30. But in January, the NCAA placed Wichita State's basketball team on a three-year probation for what it termed numerous violations over the past six years. The NCAA penalties, in my judgment, are unduly harsh and penalize innocent parties. A system of punishment which penalizes the innocents for the transgression of others cannot command the respect of reasonable men. I tell you what, these are young people, they got their education on their mind and they got basketball on their mind. And uh, I think I've been very good to you folks in that regard to, to give interviews and uh, come to the arena and, and, and talk to them. But they're going to talk about basketball and moving forward with our program. They have no time whatsoever to deal with this. Why did a blue chip freshman like Greg Greiling choose to go to Wichita State knowing the program was in trouble? Al McGuire visited with Greg to find out. Obviously, I got to ask you a very sensitive question. Was there any uh, tendency of hanky panky? Any what I mean by hanky panky? Any uh, any uh, illegal type of thing? Was no, uh, I wasn't involved in that kind of stuff at all. Yeah. I I knew from the very start. I, I wanted to get an education first of all out of the school, and uh, you know basketball. You know, it was second to me. I wanted an education. I wanted to develop, first of all, as a person. That's the most important thing to me. You would have to understand Greg Dryling, and Greg's sister, of course, plays for uh, our Wichita State women's team. And Greg's parents are a very close-knit, uh, it, it's a very close-knit family. And Greg wanted to stay home and play uh, for Wichita. Wichita, he's been a big force in the community of Wichita for some time now. These other coaches had to bring up the possibility of Wichita going on NCAA probation. So how did you work this out in your mind? Well, as I said, uh, the thing I wanted to develop most in my life was, you know, was a personality. Um, getting the education and developing as a person. This means, you know, learning how to treat people, how to respect people. Uh, I feel there's no better place to do this than in the Midwest. I, I like the people here. One of the things that is going to enhance his growth and take some of the pressure off of him is a Cliff Livingston and an Antoine Carr uh, because we can, we can bring him along in the right way. And we certainly aren't going to put pressure on him. But I, we want our fans and other people to realize that he is not going to be a seasoned veteran coming as a freshman. And I think a guy by the name of Al McGuire says it better than anybody else. The best thing about a freshman is that he'll be a sophomore next year. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Greg, it's, it's said that you can hold a basketball with two fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's see right. you do it now. All right, we're going to use this one and how it's... Try this one here. Let's, right. let me see, let's see the size of your hand first. Okay. okay. Yeah, That's your... only 19 years of age. There you go. All right, then. Any two fingers. Oh, there, there you, you go. go. Two fingers. Two. <laughs> this one's not touching. <laughs> and then he went on to show they could do it with any set of fingers, a thumb and any finger. That, now, that is a big hand. Now, he knew that... Uh, Wichita was being investigated, but what I firmly believe that any student athlete that's a senior in high school that's considering a college, he should really know that college is being considered for probation. Now sometimes it takes two or three years, because sometimes you can crush a 17 and a half year old kid's life. Well, Al McGuire says it's the obligation of the recruiting school to let a recruit know that they're being investigated. Now from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, let's go across the ocean to the British Isles for a preview of today's sports world. This is Marv Halpin, along with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. Sports World has come to Birmingham, England for a scheduled live 12-round middleweight bout 
between Tony Simpson and Dwight Davison. Simpson hails from England. He wears the European middleweight crown while Detroit's Dwight Davison is the number one contender in the middleweight division. That is coming up. Also from Garmisch Partenkirk in West Germany, the Albert Kandahar Slalom. The Mayer Brothers tearing up the European circuit, making it a banner year for the United States in World Cup skiing. And we'll have more of the World Professional Figure Skating Championship. Olympic champions Robin Cousins of Great Britain and America's delightful Dorothy Hamill perform on the ice along with Britain's John Curry and 1980 Olympic silver medalist Linda Fratiani. Sports Journal takes a look at the increasing wealth of major college sports programs in the face of cuts in federal student aid. That is all coming up. That's next on NBC Sports War. But right now, back to Assembly Hall in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And it was a wake, a period of mourning for the LSU fans after the loss to Tennessee yesterday, but they recovered rather nicely. Uh, the body is quite warm here at Bengal country, and, and they came from behind to take a 10-point lead. Let's take a look now at the scores yesterday that affected the top 10, top 20, and here are the Basketball Writers Association as voted this morning the top five. Very solid Virginia's playing a strong basketball. North Carolina has discipline and consistency. DePaul Cummins is truly an All-American. Oregon State, Ralph Miller has to, has to move it along nice, in a nice position looking for their third straight Pac-10 championship. And Kentucky, the thoroughbred, is on top of the stretch. Missouri losing to Georgetown yesterday drops to sixth. West Virginia's won 22 in a row, nation's longest win streak. Iowa defeated yesterday, drops to eighth. Memphis State moves up to nine, and Georgetown coming like gangbusters in the 10th spot. Then it's Idaho. Tulsa, Minnesota lost yesterday. Fresno State won again yesterday. Alabama with that great young talent. San Francisco, Tennessee, number 17. Wake Forest, Arkansas, and UCLA. Our basketball writers, top 20. We're at halftime here at LSU. 42-32, the Tigers lead it. We'll have the second half of action after these words from your local station. Tuesday, a wealthy widow comes to the orphanage. She wants to adopt Will. And a heartbroken Murphy says goodbye. Then it's a trial by gunpoint as Maverick plays lawyer to save his best friend's life. Then the senator's lover has a secret of her own. The field is just the first step. Flamingo Road. Tuesday, right after Father Murphy and Brett Maverick. Basketball is being brought to you by Natural Light, the beer with a taste for food. By Texaco, who also brings you quality automotive products you can trust. By Honeywell, you should see what we do with computers. And by Mazda Cars and Trucks. The more you look, the more you like their outstanding value. Germany, home of Volkswagen. What's a Mazda GLC doing here? Making a point about outstanding value in an economy car. Because while the sophisticated GLC offers the performance, economy, and versatility you expect in a front-wheel drive economy car, it offers it at a price you most certainly don't expect. The more you look at some of the finest economy cars in the world, the more you like the 1982 Mazda GLC. What's more natural than natural light? Now I'm asking you, what could be more natural than natural light beer on the grand day of the wearing of the green? Ah! 
natural light from Anheuser-Busch. It's the beer with the taste for food and fun. Why, it's just the thing for the party, you know. On the day when everyone's Irish, give them a kiss. But before you do, ask them this. What's more natural than natural light? The Army has helped send more people to college than there are people in college today. People proud to have served, proud to have succeeded. Introducing the Army College Fund. For every dollar you put in, Uncle Sam puts in five or more. So after two years in the Army, you can have $15,200 for college. Call for your free booklet on the Army College Fund and be all you can be. Your business machines say a lot about the way you do business. Quick. Right. Canon's NP400F delivers 40 letter-sized copies in a minute. Consider it done. Responds with reduction, even enlargement. Keeps you organized with a document feeder and optional sorter. Attaboy. The Canon NP400F system copy. Technology that keeps you going. Call toll-free for information or contact your authorized Canon dealer. A pickup becomes murder. Might have been more than just a struggle. You mean rape? Out of the past, a power that kills. Can Quincy save its next victim? Wednesday. Moments ago, Dale Brown receiving the Coach of the Year award from last season from the Sporting News and then the big trophy from NBC. Brown with that fantastic year as he brought his Tigers to the Final Four. And he uh, certainly whipped his Tigers into shape midway through the first half of this one. Down by eight points with ten minutes left. The Tigers got off and running and hot shooting, building their biggest lead of the game, 42-32 at the intermission. The statistics after both teams started with cold shooting performance, Wichita State wound up with 37.8% from the floor in the first half, and LSU shot 50%. And the Tigers with great balance. Carter had 10, Mitchell 9, freshman Johnson 8, Jones 7, and Taylor 6. Wichita State led by Greg Dryling with 9, Tony Martin with 7. Antoine Carr scored only two points in the first half. We're underway, second half. Wichita State gets it first, and Antoine Carr is in the game. Carr in the corner. Oh, he's ready to shoot. Line drives it way short. Out of bounds to LSU. A little bit too soon, Antoine, that time. Got to get a little bit into the game. It's about five or six seconds. Take a shot from the deep corner. It's not right. And Taylor, the freshman, off to Jones. Jones to Mitchell. Mitchell. 44-32. The Tigers, as if that ball and the rim have a magnet, it just drawn them through. Wichita has a set up going down there. Punch the ball inside through the car, Livingston, or Dryland. Dryland had the shot and didn't take it, and now he's tied up by Jones, and the ball goes to LSU. It is a shame because Wichita never lose that jump ball between Jones and Dryland. About a foot difference in those two men. Same team that started the game for LSU. Jones and Taylor in the backboard with Carter. Oh, check that. Stephon Johnson does start the second half with Mitchell. Mitchell shooting and missing. Dryling rebound. Almost intercepted and then a foul on Jones of the Tigers. And shooting. Wichita State will play it from midcourt. Reminder, next week, a week from today, it'll be DePaul. Ranked third in our poll against Notre Dame at South Bend, and the Irish have something special brewing for the Blue Demons, who've lost only once. And then two weeks from today, we'll have the Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament Championship game. That's always a big game. Dryling can't hit. Johnson rebounds, and Levingston takes it away. I lob to Carr. He goes up and scores his fourth point of the game. It's 44-34. I just get a feeling, Dick, that Wichita's going to make a strong run at LSU. Sherrod against Jones. They trap. Taylor. No good. Dryling with another board. Martin brings it down. Certainly is a mismatch on the baseline. Wichita all the way. Sherrod. Not there. Mitchell with good position for the rebound. Well, you know, he had 10 rebounds the first half. He's unbelievable off the glass. 44-34 LSU.
LSU leads with the ball. Stephon Johnson, the freshman. Taylor, another freshman. Inside to Mitchell, a sophomore. Dryling, a freshman can't control. And a foul as Jones goes up. And he is fouled by Antoine Carr, his third. Just can't get into the flow of the game, Antoine Carr. He hasn't got a sweat built up yet. First half, he picked up two early fouls. Must have set out for about 16 minutes or so. Now he just picked up his third. Second team, Missouri Valley Conference. As a freshman and sophomore was Carr. Dale Brown talking with his freshman, Taylor. Jones at the stripe. He is, we told you earlier, had only 16 free throw attempts going into the game. One for two the first half, and now one for three. <laughs> when it goes bad, it goes bad. Antoine stepped into the paint too soon. They're giving the shot over again. So Jones is to get three to make two. The old pro rule. That's it, bend those knees, son. Let's see if he gets to bend the knees this time. Get down there, bend down. That's it, that's it. Once more, that up. Now you got it. Johnny Jones, that's the same town, same high school. It's at Mike Sanders, the UCLA. In the game, James Gibbs, number three, Livingston, kisses it home. 46-36. Six points for Cliff Livingston. Almost a steal. This is Carter. Deep on the side. Not there. Dryling. Boy, he's really collecting some rebounds. He's had a great first half. He got nine points in the first half. This weight set up underneath like that. Dryling inside. He hits. And it's 46-38. Dick, there's such a mismatch underneath that if Wichita takes their time, come down, set up, punch it underneath inside, it'd be pretty hard for LSU to win. Even still with an eight-point lead. Mitchell back out to Carter. Big man is quick. Rebound. Ooh. Oh, and Carter fouls Martin, who was skying. Third foul on Carter. Tony Martin had eight rebounds that first half. Oh, man, Extremely Carter. quick off his feet. Now watch Carter come on the back of Mott. Watch how fast he gets off his feet underneath here. Up, and there he comes in the back, shakes him up a little bit. High seat Carter be some tight end. Watch him come in here. Reacts quick to his missed shot. Bang, a foul. Carter is 6'5 and 2'15. So Wichita State could pull within six with a basket. Just punch it inside. Nothing fancy. Martin back out to Gibbs. Gibbs is a junior. That's inside. Up. There's Carr. And he scores easily. And it's 46 to 40. And Wichita State back in the game with only three and a half minutes gone in the second half. Dale's asking how many timeouts he got left. He said three. He doesn't want to waste one right now, but he's going to have to solve the riddle of him just punching that ball inside. Wichita State still in the man to man, trying to create play. Five count. That's right. And that goes to Wichita State. So now suddenly everything is going the Shockers' way, just as it was in the first half for Dale Brown's Tigers. The man with the ball was guarded closely for five seconds. That's automatically a jump ball. We have no jump balls in basketball today. Much so. to your chagrin and everyone else's. Out it comes, and LSU can't save it. Ooh, watch out. As Jones takes a wicked somersault, and he's okay. I always feel with rules and things, Dick, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Watch this somersault by Jones. Hustling up, over, and on his back, and right back on his feet. Timeout. Four minutes gone in the second half, and Wichita State has drawn within six. If you're one of the many people whose life insurance needs are changing today, check with State Farm. I'm State Farm agent Jim Scally. In today's economy, people's life insurance needs are changing, and State Farm is changing to meet those needs. We have a variety of life insurance products, all at a good price. We'll help you plan the program that's right for you, and we'll be there to help you keep it up to date. Check with State Farm. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Texaco's radio broadcasts bring opera to people who can't be there. 
live from the Metropolitan Opera. Texaco's Metropolitan Opera broadcasts the longest running sponsored program in radio history. Honey, opera really gets to you, doesn't it? Texaco, your ticket to the Met for over 40 years. Live from Atlantic City, middleweights Tony Braxton and Frank Fletcher. Braxton wants this title ban, but the animal is ready for the kill. The USBA Championship bout next Sunday, live. Wichita State with a ball on the alternate possession. They have outscored the Tigers eight to two in the second half and have the ball. The high lob to Livingston was not high enough. Rebound or stolen by Jones. Not a good time for French pastry. All you gotta do is get the ball and kick it inside. Stefan Johnson, well, he's built like magic. Inside Mitchell, good quick turn. Makes it 48-40. He has 13. It was. One official right on the ball said, no, he didn't. The other official came up and said, yes, he did go over and back. That's normally embarrassing to, a, uh, to an official when you're working as a team. Here's Mitchell. He gets the ball down low. He does a quick turnaround. Just very quick, up off his feet, off the glass. Taylor to Jones, LSU leads by eight. 15, 20 remaining in this game. Inside, Jones comes in around, Ryling with Johnson on his back, finally collected by Carr, and Carr is tripped up. Traveling no, no, against no, no, Wichita no, no, no. State. No, that was, not, that was not the right call. You know what happened that time? Taylor caught the heel of Carr, and it tripped him out. Now watch what happened. After the rebound. Dale Brown is even going. He's saying to Gene Smithson, no foul, as if he agrees there should have been a foul. Oh, on Dryling, he wanted to foul on Dryling. No, it was Taylor that caught Antoine Heel. Antoine Carr Heel that put him down. Brown talking with Irv Brown, not related, the referee. <laughs> I think Dale Brown thinks everyone's picking on him. Gene Smithson wasn't very happy about the call at the other end. Continues to play his case. 48 40, LSU leads. Taylor, boy, the young freshman is really something. He's averaging 14 and a half a game. You see now why many feel he'll be the freshman of the year in the conference. God for LSU is so quick. Jones and Taylor, they are a couple of bolts of lightning. All right now they get it inside. There's Jones, he got a piece of it again, and there's Stefan Johnson, and he didn't quite save it. But listen to this crowd cheer the defense. Watch Taylor here drive in, he's very quick. Gets in there like a PT boat among the battleships. Back to live action, Tony Martin can't hit Stefan Johnson. Rebounds, 50 to 40, LSU back on top by 10 after their lead had been cut to six. It's Taylor again. And rebound to Carr. Here comes Taylor behind him. And Carr goes in to score. And a foul against LSU. Call the foul on High C. Carter. Judgment call. Fourth foul on Howard Carter. Yep. Judgment call in here. But a good one, Carter was moving all the way. He never established position, so Carter, the leading scorer for LSU, now saddled with four fouls, and Dale Brown is sending in John Tudor, apparently to replace him, as Carr goes for the three-point play. 
And you, now you know how at Wichita missed Carr already scored seven points in this second half. Out comes Carter with four fouls as Dale Brown's team loses its top score and loses three points off their lead. It's 50 to 43. Let's get the ball to tail and let him do it by himself. Foul on Tony Martin of Wichita State, his second. What's team fouls, excuse me, because three fouls now on LSU and two on Wichita State this half. What's great about these Joneses and Taylors and so on, they neutralize all presses. All you do is get the ball into them, then clear out, leave them all by themselves. There's a long pass to Mitchell. Boy, he looked like a wide receiver all the way. <laughs> Stephon Johnson blocked by Dryling and out of bounds to LSU. NBC Sports World Dynamite, your lexicon show to follow with skiing, skating, and a live middleweight bout from Birmingham, England. Stay tuned. Uh-oh, four corners. Tudor. Mitchell, so with Icy Carter on the bench with four fouls. Dale Brown takes the lead. and kick the ball underneath. You have a chance of winning this ball game, but otherwise you're going to blow it out. Let's like look at Derek Taylor again, the freshman from Baton Rouge. He scoots around to the weak side of the basket, and he moves the ball away from Dryling, who's seven foot one. Taylor's only six feet tall. See now why he was voted the most valuable player in AAA here in Louisiana last year. Martin can't hit, and Carr can't rebound. Out of bounds to LSU. Uh, Dick, they got to go to that big baseline. Like, this is, is kind of silly, those outside guys shooting when there's such a mismatch on that baseline. 6'8", six, 6'9", six, and 7'1", the baseline for Wichita State, where for LSU, the baseline is 6'7", 6'7", 6'5". If you'll notice now, LSU is obviously in four corners, and they got the man that can really control the ball and tail it. Gibbs, not Carr, with a foul. Gibbs has his second. Now, obviously, the disadvantage for the height down one end is on the defensive end to open them up and bring them out high. Lou Damons of Ray Meyer. They've lost only one, ranked third in our poll against Notre Dame. Next Sunday here on NBC. A long standing rivalry, two o'clock. And uh, you just know the Irish are going to really be up emotionally for that game. They'll have to be. Uh, Whistle Gibbs limping, and the official. Our officials are Herb Brown, Reggie Copeland, Ben Dunn. So Gibbs comes out and Sherrod back in for Wichita State. 52-43, LSU with the ball in the lead. 12-40 remaining first half, or second half. Johnson, Stephon Johnson, Longview, Texas. He has 10 points. He's the one who really sparked LSU coming off the bench in the first half. Timeout, Wichita. Watch Johnson go up on the back door for this ball. He goes up and he passes it off, and there it is. Very nice team play. LSU is very well coached. 12-22 remaining. To everyone who's slipping into the groove, this bird's for you. It's five minutes on the upswing of five. Outside, it's 87 degrees under sunny blue skies. No matter what you're doing today, whether you're at work or at play, you make the most of this gorgeous day that we're having. Matinee. Stay tuned for my man Flash. I'm moving out of here having myself an ice cold brew. Yeah, just for you. That distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. Nice show. I know. This for you. 
the brightest prospects in the middleweight division, power puncher Dwight Davison battles European champion Tony Simpson. Then from West Germany, see the historic performances of Phil and Steve Mayer in World Cup slalom skiing, plus world pro figure skating, next on NBC Sports World. It was here six years ago when Western Michigan, Indiana Marquette, and Alabama were the four before Indiana went on to win it. And uh, the officials were saying that you drop kicked a chair here for a technical, and furthermore, it was wide to the right, no good. <laughs> I hurt my toe, too. <laughs> Herb Brown said he was there for that call. Herb Brown is going to retire after this season. He's had a good run as a referee. LSU, and there are those quick guards, Jones and Taylor with another steal. 54-43. Read it out, 11-point lead. I'm sure the fans at the University of Kentucky are watching today, and they have to play LSU here next weekend. And they're going to meet a very, they're still going to be angry, Bengal bunch. And uh, they're going to be seeking revenge for what happened yesterday, not necessarily against uh, Kentucky, but just against anyone. There's a interesting balance shown by LSU where the guards for Wichita State have not contributed in the same manner. It's hitting the 2-3 zone now. Jay Jackson, the starter, with the ball now, back in the game. The rod. This is the same starting five for Wichita State. First time they've been on the court since early in the game. Into Livingston. Sherrod open, passes it up. Well, Sherrod had to take that one. Martin, not a good shooter, gets it right back. 54-45. Nine. Want to get the ball to little guy. Get the ball to little guy. Watch it, Mitchell. You're going to get in trouble. Watch it. Okay, he got out of it. Always get the ball to little man. That's what he's there for. I'm going to take something back when I said to Bob Martin. Goaltending is the ball. That's been awarded to Johnny Jones of LSU. And it's 56-45. Jones with 11. Watch Livingston go up. Jones goes back door. He goes the back door. Now watch Livingston go up. Goal tending. 11 points for Jones is his career high. Inside, Carr, jump hook. Rebound, Livingston. Johnson for LSU. Here come the young Tigers. Taylor, look at the control this young kid has with the ball. Has good lateral movement. Can penetrate, also move sideways. Stephon Johnson, back to Johnson. And a foul on Johnson. Uh, it's a freshman it's a foul. He missed, the, he missed the basket, so he got upset and over, was over aggressive on the rebound. Dale is saying, hey, Johnson, watch out for the foul. foul That's the fourth, fifth foul on LSU, and there's three fouls on Wichita State. A fight from England, Davison and Simpson. 12 rounder, that'll be live. Along with great slalom downhill. And we standing, Jackson can hit. Oh, what a rebound by Antoine Carr. Carr now with 11 points, 9 in this half. And it's 56-47, LSU, 10-15 left. Still got it spread out offensively. Get it back to Taylor. Or Jones, either one. Less than 10 minutes remaining. LSU with a nine-point lead. Howard Carter, their top scorer on the bench with four fouls. There's a pinch now. They got him. Oh, you had him. Out. John Tudor off to Mitchell. Leonard Mitchell, he has 15. What Dean Smith always said about the four corners, it's not as much a delay as it's an offense. Tony Martin, we said a moment ago that he was not a good shooter. He is, and we certainly swallow those words. He's hitting 54% from the floor. And Martin now with 11. That's right at his average for the year. 58-49-9. LSU lead. It's Jones off the Mitchell. Blocked by Carr. And a foul on Carr. His four. Like he might have gotten him with the other hand. Underneath, he might have got him. I couldn't get it from my angle. I watch him kick it off to the right. He grabbed him, and he kicks it off to the right. Now, here goes Antoine Carr. Now, I thought, what he caught him with his hip going high? Going high. At the line, Leonard Mitchell. He leads LSU with 15. He's 1-4-3 from the line. 
Back to the 10-point lead are the Tigers. They were ahead by 10 at the intermission, 42-32. Where were the shockers on that play? How did he get inside position? Nine minutes left, 10 point advantage, LSU. Tudor. Oh, close. And it was touched by Jones, and the play was made by Tony Martin's hustle. You know what happened that last time with the rebound, Dick? Levinson thought the foul shot was good and released to go down court. And it didn't go through the net, it spun back out. Sherrod's got to shoot it. Yeah, they need a hot hand. And he's their outside man. Livingston. Hits it in with a left hand. Right over the back of the Tigers. And it's 59-51. And the foul in the backcourt against Wichita State. Sherrod. Howard Carter is coming back in for LSU. They're playing like it's the end of the ball game. There's still 8 minutes and 37 seconds left. And a timeout here at the Assembly Center on the campus of LSU. 8.37 remaining. Uh, the SEC, the LSU Tigers, lead Wichita State of the Missouri Valley. If you're shipping big and small packages, you could feel left out in the cold. If you don't know the company that has its own scheduled delivery of virtually any size package the next morning. Nope, it's not any of them. Introducing Emory A.M. Only Emory delivers any size shipment from ounces to tons to most of America the very next morning. It's the Emory Edge. Take us up on it. Sakes alive, sakes alive. Only Mazda's got a truck for just 58 95. The Mazda B2000 Sundowner is the lowest priced truck sold in America. Hundreds less than Toyota or Datsun. And comes with standard features they don't even offer on their economy trucks. Sakes alive. Mazda B2000 Sundowner even gets better gas mileage. Only Mazda's got a truck for just 58 95. B ringside as Frank the Animal Fletcher slugs it out with Tony Braxton for the USBA middleweight title. Then the All-Stars and the Pro Stars go down to the wire in a team skate off of the World Championship plus Women's World Cup surfing next Sunday on NBC Sports World. A reminder, fans, next Saturday we have a regional doubleheader on NBC. East, Midwest, Southwest, and West. Those are the 1 o'clock games. Pick out the one in your area. And on NBC, that's followed by these 3 o'clock games. So all of you will see uh, bonus two next Saturday on NBC. And then on Sunday, Al and I will be in... Notre Dame, Indiana for the Irish and DePaul. A lot of pressure up court. Look at two man. Tudor fouled by Tony Martin. That is his third. A little bit over aggressive. And it'll be the sixth team foul on Wichita State. LSU has five. Now it's one in the bonus. Carter back in the game for LSU. He's inbounding the ball. 59-51 LSU. Wichita State led by eight midway through the first half. And then the Tigers came with a rush. And moved down to a 10-point advantage at halftime. Leonard Mitchell to Carter. Taylor goes inside and can't score. Martin rebounds for Wichita State. Antoine Carr, he has four fouls. Let it go, Sherrod. Sherrod and a knee foul on Carter, and that's all for him. Use the knee to try to stop Sherrod's move, and Carter leaves the game with 10 points. Averaging 17 on the year, 10 points today for Carter. Actually, his loss with four didn't hurt LSU. The guard play and John Tudor playing the middleman and did a fine job, and they maintained the lead. Now look down there, you'll see a two-three zone. Try to kick the ball inside, or Sherrod just shoot from the outside. Sherrod's out. Martin hits from outside. Tony Martin makes it 59-53 as the Shockers pull within a half dozen at the 740 mark. 13 now for Martin. 
This young LSU team, though, has been very impressive. They are to be reckoned with. And apparently Dale Brown is on the course of another outstanding recruiting year and loses no one off this team. Jones a little bit too big to take the other Jones in this situation. Got to get the ball into the hands of the bigger guys so you can double team them. Taylor and Jones are two quickest guards. They can ice this game out. Here's Taylor, a freshman. The other guard, Jones, is a sophomore. Tudor is a sophomore. Mitchell is a sophomore. Johnson lost the ball, a freshman. And here comes Wichita State, thrilling 59-53. Seven minutes left. Well, it's a big opportunity for the Shockers. Inside, Levingston hits it. And it's 59-55. Cliff Levingston has 10. And timeout, Dale Brown on the LSU bench. Yeah, the four corners might become a two-edged sword. It either wins for you or you get blown out on the other side. Because once you lose your momentum, you can never get it back. Your Marquette team played that four corner so well. I want to ask you how you attacked it. We'll be right back. Before I swing for the bleacher CDs, I get to eat these for my Wheaties. Before I slam my gorilla donkeys, I get the Eaties for my Wheaties. The Eaties for Wheaties. That undeniable, irresistible urge for the crispy, crunchy, whole wheat taste of the breakfast of champions. Before I put on my little cleaties, I get the Eaties for my Wheaties. Part of your good breakfast. Michelob brings you the seven-day weekend. Good eating style. The special of the week for gourmet's delight. Here's how to add a little weekend flavor to any dish. Serve with generous portions of Michelob. Because that smooth and mellow taste helps make any time feel a little like a weekend. Put a little weekend in your week. The brightest prospects in the middleweight division. Power puncher Dwight Davison battles European champion Tony Simpson. Then from West Germany, see the historic performances of Phil and Steve Mayer in World Cup slalom skiing, plus World Pro figure skating, next on NBC Sports World. It appears James Gibbs, the, left, the guard with a left ankle sprain, is out for the rest of the way for Wichita State. Joe Costello, number 25, into the game for the first time for LSU. Here comes Jones off the Tudor. 59-55, LSU's lead. Once at 10, down to four. With six and a half minutes left. Mitchell, back to Jones. Don't leave a man till he kills his dribble. When he kills his dribble, double team him. No, he's still got his dribble alive. Where do they kill their dribble? Now attack him. Kill a dribble. No, it dribbles. Now, now attack. Now everyone should have moved into the outlet passing lane then. Uh, too uh, much time left to do this. 59 to 55. I mean, uh, they, they have to go to the basket, Dick. They can't just keep fooling around here. They got to go in. Costello doesn't shoot. Six minutes left. What did you, you know, you beat North Carolina. Dean Smith, he used the four corner to win your championship. How did you attack the four corner? First, they missed a key shot that I had nothing to do with. But we played square. Didn't allow that. You never allow cannot turn their head. You play man to man. Once the man kills the dribble, then you double team and cut off the outlet passes. Johnny Jones having his best scoring day in his two years at LSU with 13 points. Previous high was 10. Six point lead for the Tigers. Five and a half minutes left. Inside Livingston. A little too hard. Rebound and a foul. Or it's out of bounds. LSU and Leonard Mitchell is down for the Tigers and he's playing with a sore ankle anyway he is their backboards without him they're in serious trouble and they've already lost their top scorer Carter I hope it's not his ankle or his knee he seems to be holding the knee nickname of SWAT SWAT for the fact that in one high school game he swatted away 16 shots blocked 16 he just has got such great athletic talent. One of the best leapers, one of the best runners, and of course rebounders on this LSU squad, and the leading scorer in the game with 16. Coming up next, NBC Sports World features live 12 rounds from England. WBC's number one and number two ranked middleweights, Detroit's Dwight Davison, England's Tony Simpson, plus coverage of the Arlberg Kandahar Slalom. 
the seventh stop on the World Cup Skiing Tour, and the fourth round of the World Professional Figure Skating Championship. That's right after the basketball action from LSU. Mitchell gets a hand as he comes out. Stefan Johnson is back in. The next jump ball, the arrow is pointing towards the Flower State, Wichita. Speedy freshman Taylor says, clear out, give me room. Now to the other lightning quick guard, Jones. And they just beat the 10 seconds. Now they got him, now they got him. The backman have to move quick once the pinch develops. Five minutes left. 61-55 LSU. Very close to that back line, mid-court line. Now over to Tudor. Keep away by LSU. And a foul. Holding, I believe it was Levingston. Yes, it was. Second for Johnson comes out, and Mitchell is back in, and a hand from the LSU faithful for Leonard Mitchell. He's on a bonus situation right now. Very, very important, this first shot with a six-point lead. 4.45 left. John Tudor from Pineville, Louisiana. He's hit only 37% from the line this year. 10 for 27. Isn't his brother the guy that plays at Rice? Yes, he's the point guard, a senior, his uh, brother Bobby. He hits them both. 63-55 with 440 left. Mike Jones hammers one in from outside. 63-57. His first points. We'll give a double team right now. It's back to the ball. Good move. That was a nice move by Wichita State that time. Back to man-to-man -to -man now again. Straighten up. Six-point LSU lead as they try to kill the clock. Now double team. Now you got him in the corner. Double team. No, nope, they're not reacting right. You want that ball in the corner, then double team the man with the ball. Now you're in trouble now. Got out of it. Mitchell. He really wanted to block that shot, Dick. Livingston, <laughs> he vacuumed that up, took it right out from his jersey. <laughs> Here's Livingston committing his third foul. <laughs> Down he comes. <laughs> oh, boy, what athletes, huh? It's oh, unbelievable. It is ballet. Oh. At the line, Leonard Mitchell. He is two for five. One of the Achilles in this LSU team, the show team, is they are not a good free throw shooting team. And Wichita State trying to take advantage of that situation now. But statistics do lie. Well, they had a great club last year in the finals in Philadelphia. Start of that second half, Indiana moved them out, but they were right in there till then. Well, they were ahead of the half. Uh, start of the second half, so when they moved them out. Two free throws by Mitchell, and LSU builds its lead to eight points. 65-57, exactly four minutes remaining. The high-speed roads of Germany where the BMW runs free. What's a Mazda 626 Sport Coupe doing here? Making a point about outstanding value in a road car. Because while the 626 offers the performance, luxury, and economy you expect in a refined road car, it offers it at a price you most certainly don't expect. The more you look at some of the finest road cars in the world, the more you like the 1982 Mazda 626. To an entering freshman, higher education can seem highly confusing. But at Smith College, a Honeywell computer has things under control. A Honeywell computer handles registration, class assignments, and sets maintenance schedules. Honeywell even considers personal interests before assigning roommates. Honeywell, you should see what we do with computers. The brightest prospects in the middleweight division. Power puncher Dwight Davidson battles European champion Tony Simpson. Then from West Germany, see the historic performances of Phil and Steve Mayer in World Cup slalom skiing, plus world pro figure skating, next on NBC Sports World. 46-year-old Dale Brown, he credits John Wooden 
for some advice five years ago when he asked the Wizard of Westwood, how do I do it? And the coach of UCLA said, you're trying too hard. If you thought about that, you might be trying too hard. And Dale said it, it was good advice that he was pressing a bit. And he is a different man than the one we knew five years ago. He wants me to go to climb the Matterhorn with him this summer. You're not going to do that. You uh, climb the Matterhorn? I don't know. <laughs> Someone to pay my way, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to break my habit. They don't allow motorbikes <laughs> over there anyway. 65-57 Wichita trails here at LSU. Four minutes remaining. In the big Cliff Levingston. Levingston gets it back. And Levingston, the junior from San Diego, has a dozen. And LSU's lead is back down to six. They need a turnover real bad. Move silk this kid. Reaching in on Jay Jackson, number 32. Well, it's amazing how many, how many outstanding high school players are produced right here in Baton Rouge. Derek Taylor is one of those. Howard Carter is another. Plus, probably the best small forward in the country out at UCLA. Mike Sanders. Well, he's from DeRitter. But that's close enough. Taylor misses and Jackson rebounds. So the missed free throw gives Wichita State a chance to pull within four. Biggest basket of the game up to now is right now. They can put it out. Bottom it down. Carr and Livingston down in the hole. There it is. The cup. Oh, a quick move. And it's 65-61. Carr with 13. 11 in this half. 307 left. I don't know if LSU will get into the wire. I think they started the four corners a little bit too soon. We'll see. Knocked away and saved by Jackson. Good action by Jackson. And with a four-point deficit, Wichita State has the ball. 250 left. Kick the ball in against that zone to Carr if possible. They're looking for Livingston and Carr constantly. Stolen by Taylor. Jones gets it back and misses. And a foul against Wichita State. Watch Carr here when he loaded down the four points. Jones picks the ball into a simple move around. Just absolute talent. Mike Jones, number 33, committed the foul. Here's the foul on the other end. After he missed what should have been a fairly easy shot, then he was over the back. So over aggressive after the miss, kind of mad at himself. Joe Costello, he's a junior from Arlington, Texas. He went to Houston Westchester High School. Of all Texas is a senior, looking for his first point. I would have called a timeout just before this guy took the shot. Off shot, off shot, off shot. Way off the mark. I would have wasted the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> You've been on quite a run anyway. You're due to miss one. Well, I, I know what I figured on that. He, he just got in the game. He's cold. He doesn't play that much. Let him think about it. Wichita State trailing 65-61. Clock ticking down toward the two-minute mark. They're using the pocket zone now. Almost forced them to shoot from the outside. Put it up, Martin. Let the big guys go for the rebound. Mike Jones and a foul reaching in on Derek Taylor. And one on now one. one and one goes to Wichita State. What does Jones shoot from the charity line, Dick? Mike Jones, who likes to shoot from 30-foot range, is only a 58% shooter. From that 15-foot stripe, he's had only 17 tries, made good on 10. I have a hard job making this then. Usually a 58% shooter in this type of a situation becomes a 30% shooter. Jones I'm not, is a I'm not senior, to, however, and he does have the experience going for him. I'm not trying to give him the kiss of death, Dick. That was maybe wasn't a nice thing to say. I'm just trying to talk basketball. I know him and his brother, the assistant coach of the team. Now I'm kind of hoping he makes it. Yeah. <laughs> I felt sorry what I said. You're off the hook. <laughs> Jones transferred to Wichita State after playing his freshman year at the University of Illinois. And the Illini had a big win yesterday. They're back in the thick of the Big Ten hunt. One out of two. And the other Jones, Derek, rebounds. And a foul on Mike. It's the Jones game at this point. Jones on Jones. J and J. Clock stop with 159 left. You know, they're really going with their motto of the state of Kansas. It's to the stars through difficulty. That's their motto. I don't know. Someone what is that again? That. I didn't hear you. To the stars through difficulty. The motto of the state. 
of Kansas. And of course, uh, Gene Smithson has his own MTXE that he's carried with him through his coaching career. Metal, metal, metal toughness, extra effort. Be off, Jay, take it off. That's a miss by Jones. And now down by three. It's 65 62, Wichita State trailing. Plenty of time. It's developed into a very interesting game. Mike Jones forcing and hitting. Oh, oh, oh. 142 left. It's down to a one-point game. LSU leading by 10 at half and 10 midway through the second half. It's a double team. Another double team. The miss free throw. They are. Jones comes from behind, Dick. And oh, it goes off. Mike Jones leg to LSU. He didn't know where the ball was. He accidentally kicked it out of bounds. Good call. Excellent call. 127 left. 65, 64 LSU. Dale Brown wants time, but is yeah. Finally, Derek Taylor did hear him. Timeout for the Tigers. Oh my! 127 left. Now to the West German Alps for another preview of Sports World. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Adamley. High in the Bavarian Alps. Behind me, the Zugspitze. It's the tallest peak in Germany. And later today on NBC Sports World, it will serve as a backdrop for the Arlberg Kandahar. Men's World Cup skiing, the slalom race, featuring the incomparable Swede Ingemar Stenmark. And he'll be going against America's dynamic twins, Steve and Phil Mayer. Phil, of course, the World Cup champion, and Steve, the world giant slalom champion. He won that crown earlier this year in Schladming, Austria. But that's not all. We'll also be going to Birmingham, England, for a scheduled 12-round middleweight bout between Great Britain's Tony Simpson, the current European champion, versus America's Dwight Davison, the number one WBC middleweight contender. Also, more of the World Pro Figure Skating Championship. Today, it'll be Robin Cousins and his partner, Linda Franiati, for the pro team, going against John Curry and Dorothy Hamill for the All-Star team. Also, another edition of Sports Journal. That's all today on NBC Sports World a little bit later on. But right now, let's go back to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Assembly Hall for more basketball. 127 left, LSU leading 65-64. A reminder, Dale Brown's Tigers have lost three in a row and two of those at home after they'd won 23 in a row here at Assembly Center. So he is not in a very happy mood and certainly does not want to see that 10-point lead become a defeat. It's down to only one. Well, what happens a lot of times, you lose your confidence. Right now, it doesn't look like an overtime game because of one-point spread. If it's a two-point spread, then the possibility of an overtime game is there. Here comes Man Stephon. underneath, three. He's free. Don't shoot. Oh, a beautiful block by Carr, Antoine Carr. I didn't think he should have shot. I could. And Gene Smithson is arguing that Taylor traveled underneath. I thought he did shuffle yeah, a bit. He, he took a little shuffle there. Watch, Watch that inside. Spot. Oh, he did. He did. And Carr with a great block. He has four fouls. 121 left. Hard man to man. Down the point. Follow the freshman if you want. Always follow the freshman. Shooter is a not a good free throw shooter. Taylor has missed the last two front ends and one and one. Oh, 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 Johnson. They're flirting with danger, Dick here. <laughs> Less than a minute remaining. LSU with the ball, but just a one point. Foul lead. him! I foul him. He's a freshman. Hit him. They did foul him, but no whistle. <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> There's no oh. whistle. Out there. Finally, a foul. There must have been ten, ten fouls in that sequence. <laughs> they fouled the wizard. Oh boy. Jackson finally foul, is the recipient of the foul. I thought somebody was going to finally just commit a tackle. Maybe a tackle would have done it. At the line, freshman Stefan Johnson. This is his first free throw. And he is shooting 65% on the season. Stefan, that's a Cajun first name. Stefan Johnson, baby magic, they call him. Well, we've had a fine start on our big NBC Sports Sunday with this basketball action from LSU. Boxing to follow live. Marv Albert, good doctor, Bertie Pacheco, Davison of Detroit, Simpson, Great Britain. Albert Kandahar, that won an Emmy Award for NBC, the coverage last year, exciting downhill skiing. And it was my pleasure to be in Landover, Maryland, along with John Misha Petrovich to call the World Professional Figure Skating Championship. This is the fourth round of five. 
I know many of you have been watching it each Sunday. It's just beautiful material. Not only the athletic skill, but the ballet on ice. Well, 44 seconds left. At the line, Johnson to shoot one and one. Take us into uh, Wichita State's huddle right now, Al McGuire. What might uh, Gene Smithson be telling his troops? First, he's telling them, hey, you got plenty of time in the game. 44 seconds is obviously a lifetime. We're down by a point. If he makes, if he makes both foul shots, come down the court quick. Try to, if possible, kick the ball inside, maybe looking for a three-point play. If we score, timeout. You'll see Wichita State use a lot of timeout in the next 44 seconds. At the line, number 33, Stefan Johnson, 6'8", freshman from Longview, Texas. He's averaging four points a game and 65% from the line. He has 10 points today. It was his shooting touch that got LSU untracked in the first half. After being ice for a minute, very difficult shot to make here. Take out Jay Young. Yeah. Antoine Carr gets the rebound, and Wichita State in position to win it. No, they won't call timeout right now. They go right in, go right in, but then they get two or three more turns. They're in the one and one. Remember, LSU lost at the buzzer by one to Tennessee yesterday. Carr scores. 65 the first time Wichita has led in this second half. 20 seconds left. They gotta go back into his zone. What were they attacking up court then? Timeout Time LSU. Out. Now the monkey is on the back of LSU. The Tigers, however, have the ball and 16 seconds to try to score the winning hoop. Antoine Carr is a man playing with boys. It's just unbelievable for a junior. There he drives into the paint, puts it up automatically. Here he goes from another angle. Big, strong, powerful, great athlete. A car with the early fouls made only two points the first half as 13 in the second half. We want to remind everyone that people who made this telecast possible, the executive producer of NBC Basketball, Don Ulmer, coordinating producer of today's game, and our game producer, George Finkel. Today's game has been directed by Harry Coyle, Bruce Burke was our technical director, feature producer David Hoffman, our associate director Joe Michael, statistician Steve Dance, and all the men and women on our NBC crew here at LSU. Thank you for a great job, and it's been an outstanding game. 66-65, Wichita State will be announcing our most valuable player in a moment, and a fine plaque recognizing his performance today, and $1,000 both to LSU and to Wichita State. All right, Wichita State has one more timeout left. LSU has used all their timeouts, so they cannot call timeout again. I expect Wichita to come out into his zone. I'm not sure, obviously. Overplay certain guys that can hit from the outside. I, I, I think what probably Dale would be, Dale Brown be telling his club at this time is that let's be patient. Let's get the shot up there with about 9, 10, 11 seconds. Because most games are won off a missed shot, not off the last shot taken. As of yesterday, when Tennessee put up an air ball, and the guy made the shot with one second left on the clock, right at the buzzer. The MVP is too close to call. We're going to wait for the final 16 seconds. A little aggressiveness out front. Now they'll settle back. Watch Wichita State should settle back. Settle back in around the paint. They're starting to settle back now. All right, you got to go. You got to let it fly. Derek Taylor, the speedy freshman, up with a jumper. That's oh! He had it rammed in and it just jumped back out. Leonard Mitchell, a nearly a tip at the buzzer and LSU loses another heartbreaker, four in a row. Our most valuable player, he scored only two in the first half. They were down by 10 at the half and then Antoine Carr returned to the Wichita State lineup. He is our most valuable player with 15 points. Honeywell will present a $1,000 scholarship to both Wichita State and LSU. A game that had so many shifts and balance and momentum. LSU down early, rally to go ahead. Finally, Wichita State wins it. Stay tuned for NBC Sports World. A promotional fee has been paid to NBC by United Airlines. We serve more of this land's top 100 business centers than any other airline. Fly the friendly skies. Monday, members of the original cast reunite for a wedding on Walton's Mountain. The 